Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna test interesting integral with gamma function using three different techniques, integrals by parts and Stirling's approximation and di gamma functions, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from one to two. Then we have ln of gamma x dx. For this integral, I use three different techniques, integral by parts, di gamma function, and Stirling's approximation. So first, let's use integral by parts to rewrite this. This has to be the same as using integration by parts. So this looks like the same as now then x times ln of gamma x from one to two. And then that minus integral uh, from one to two. Then we have x times gamma prime of x over gamma of x. Then we have dx. Then at the same time, we can define the psi of x. Okay, so this has to be now gamma prime of x over gamma of x, which is di gamma function. Then at the same time, the psi has the series representation, right? So that should be now the same as, okay, so it is now this Euler's matrimony constant, which is small gamma plus now summation. Summation from n is equal to zero to infinity. Okay, then we have one over n plus one and minus one over n plus x. Then at the same time, we can notice how this gamma of two is equal to gamma of one. They're both equal to now one. Then at the same time, this x times ln of gamma x from one to two. This should be now equal to zero. Okay, so what we need to evaluate is going to be then negative integral from one to two. And then we have x times psi x and dx. Okay, then this has to be the same as now the integral from one to two. Okay, so let's rewrite this integrand. So we have x now times um, this whole thing. It's little gamma. Now plus, okay, then summation from m is equal to zero to infinity. Then we have just a one over n plus x minus one over n plus one. Okay, and then of course we should have dx at the end. So that's why this has to be the same as little gamma times x now square over two. Okay, and then that from one to two plus your summation from n is equal to zero and to infinity. And then your expression has to be now the integral from one to two. And your integrand looks like a parenthesis x over n plus now x, and then minus one over n plus one, closer parenthesis, then we should have now then dx, okay. So if you work this expression out, then it looks like, okay, so little gamma times three over two. Okay. And then plus summation from n is equal to zero to infinity. And then your um, the expression has to be now integral from one to two. And let me make a parenthesis too, and it has to be one minus n over n plus x. Okay, then we have, um, okay, minus x over n plus 1. And closer parenthesis, then we should have now the dx. Okay. So let's keep working on this. So it should be the same as then this little gamma times 3 over 2 still. Okay, then that plus summation from and it's equal to zero to infinity. And then if you work that part out for the integral, it is now parenthesis one minus n times ln of now n plus two over 
n plus 1. And then that minus 3 over 2 times 1 over n plus 1. Close your parenthesis. So in order to evaluate this, let me fix this capital letter n, right? Okay, then it looks like what we need to evaluate has to be this little gamma times 3 over 2. And then that plus summation from small letter n is equal to 0 to capital letter n. Okay, and then that of everything. 1 minus n ln of n plus now 2 over n plus 1 minus 3 over 2 times 1 over n plus 1. So that's why if you work on this, it looks like still this, okay, let me put this as 3 over 2 times little gamma, right? Okay, then that minus pulling that negative 3 over 2 out. And then that times summation from little n is from 1 to capital letter N now plus 1. And then that of 1 over N now plus capital letter N plus now 1. Another term to be subtracted, right? Minus um, summation little n's from 0 to capital letter n, and at that times n times ln of okay, n plus 2 minus ln of n plus 1. So that's why if you still keep working on this, it looks like, okay, so negative now, 3 over 2 times, okay, it's an ln of n plus 1, and then now plus, okay, this capital letter n plus 1. That minus summation from n is 0 to capital letter n. Okay, then your expression looks like this n times ln of n plus 2. Okay, let me make your parenthesis in here. Minus ln of n plus 1. That is going to be a telescoping sum. Okay, so that expression is a telescoping sum, right? So we can talk about now expression should be turning out to be a positive negative 3 over 2. Okay, then that times ln, still capital letter N plus 1 plus capital letter N now plus 1. Okay, then that minus, this is going to be the same as then negative capital letter N times ln of capital letter N plus 2. Then that plus that plus ln of capital letter N plus 1. Plus all the way up to ln now 2. Okay, then this expression has to be the same as still this negative 3 over 2 ln of capital letter N plus 1. Okay, then that plus capital letter N plus 1. Okay, then still this negative capital letter N times ln of n plus 2. Then the other terms, we can group them, right? Other term has to be then ln okay, of n plus 1 factorial. Okay, now we need to use Sterling's approximation for n plus 1 factorial. Okay, so Sterling's Approximation for capital letter N plus 1 factorial. Okay, so using that, capital letter N plus 1 factorial. Okay, this has the same as now the square root of 2 pi. That times N plus now 1. Okay, then that times parenthesis capital letter N plus 1 over 2. To the power of capital letter N plus 1. That times now 1 plus the big O of 1 over n plus 1. Okay, so using this, now this ln of n plus 1 factorial that we had, right? This has to be the same as then this ln of 2 pi over 2. And then that plus 1 over 2 times now ln of capital letter n plus 1. Okay, and then that plus Okay, so capital letter N plus 1 times ln of capital letter N plus 1. Okay, then that minus capital letter N plus 1 
times ln of just the e. Lastly, plus ln of now then 1 plus big O of just the 1 over capital letter N. Okay. So this has been expression for this ln of n plus 1 factorial, right? So if you're using this, then we need to obtain negative 3 over 2. Okay, then that times ln of capital letter N plus 1 plus um, capital letter N plus 1. That minus n times ln of capital letter n plus 2. Okay, then the next term has to be plus ln of 2 pi over now 2. Okay, then that plus 1 over 2 times ln of capital letter n plus 1. Okay, then that also plus capital letter n plus 1 times ln of capital letter n plus 1. Okay, then a few more terms, minus capital letter N plus 1. So the last term has to be this LN of 1 plus big O of 1 over capital letter N. Okay, and it seems like there are some terms that we can cancel out, including those terms N plus 1, right? So if you can possibly all the terms that could be canceled out, then we can represent your expression as, okay, still this LN, 2 pi over 2, okay, then that plus capital letter N times ln of N now plus 1. Okay, then that minus capital letter N times now ln of N plus 2 plus the last term, ln of 1 plus big O of 1 over now the N. Okay, so let's keep working on this expression, right? Then it looks like we're working on still ln of 2 pi over 2. Okay, then we have plus n times ln of n plus 1 over n plus 2. And then that plus the last term. ln of 1 plus big O of 1 over now n. Okay. Okay, so that's why when your capital letter N goes to infinity, right? So we can represent this as then you have ln of 2 pi over 2. Okay, then that plus the other terms, we can represent this as the limit when your capital letter N is going to infinity. And we have N times ln of N now plus 1 over N now plus 2. Okay, so if you keep working this out, then it has to be the same as, okay, this ln of 2 pi over 2. Okay, then that plus limit n is going to infinity, and n times now ln. If you represent this, then it has to be 1 minus 1 over n now plus 2, just to get the value of it, right? Okay, so that's why it is the same as ln of 2 pi over 2 plus the limit, capital letter N is going to infinity, and then we have N times negative 1 over N now plus 2. The that plus big O of uh, 1 over N plus 2 squared. So when the limit N is going to infinity, this big O part is equal to 0. So that's why we can represent this as ln of 2 pi now over 2. And then limit n is going to infinity, negative n over n plus 2. This is negative 1. So that's why we have negative 1. This has to be your final answer. Okay, so this is pretty interesting viewer suggested integrals. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.